Well, except for it's gonna be on camera. Go ahead, Mama. Read her to the news. Read the newspaper to her. Read the newspaper. Yeah, read the newspaper. Okay, Ava. Now you're a very little girl right now, and you don't need to know this for I don't know. I hope at least fifteen or sixteen years. But listen to this advice for how to use the interwebs to meet people. Some strange person writes into the New York Times and says, "Whenever I see a cute boy on the train or the street, instead of boldly approaching him, I write a Craigslist ad." Misconnection. Yeah, that's funny. For the last few months, this guy has been walking by the glass storefront of my workplace. He peers in and he smiles quite often. Yeah, but neither of us has the nerve to speak. That's not your problem, little girl. Nor did he respond to my Craigslist posting. Is a simple hello good enough to get things started? Is it? No, it's not. Or do I have to be more intriguing? Now, this is the reply from the smart guy who writes funny things for the New York Times. He says this. Are you ready? Are you paying attention? Oh, you're not ready? Okay. <laughs> Craigslist is heaven on earth for unloading your granny's chin sofa, the favorite perch of her incontinent cat. It's also handy for finding local hookers and for throwing last chance desperation past. Searching for that bewitching stranger who stared at you as the train chugged out of the station. Bye-bye train. Bye-bye train. Bye-bye.